Hello, I'm Marta Malago Martinez, and when I was asked to make a time capsule including all the culture of human history, I looked at the past. Nowadays, with the globalization, we are now more connected, and cultures are being modified every day. Looking at the past, I realized culture is in every activity humans being do, from sports, through architecture, to fashion, to music, art, etc. What I want to include in my time capsule, because it is sadly impossible to include all of them, is something that meant a change, that was important, either emotionally or historically. I hope you enjoyed this video. Literature enriches our world. Between the pages of the books we travel to foreign countries, we live new adventures. Books can make us cry, laugh or feel fear. They are essential for our personal growth and necessary to learn to think critically. They are one of the main tools among the internet that we have to access knowledge. There are many genres that go from poetry to theater scripts, from crime novels to fantasy stories. There are historical books or romance ones. Basically, there is always a book waiting in the self to be discovered. Throughout history, there's been plenty of important authors, such as Homer, Shakespeare, Lorca, Miguel Hernández, Jules Verne, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, Cervantes, Quevedo, Lope de Vega, Alberti, Agatha Christie, Flaubert, Dickens, Poe, Goethe, Grimm, Perrault, Herbert Lee, Neruda, Jane Austen, Emily and Charlotte Bronte, Virginia Woolf, Victor Hugo, George Orwell, Tolstoy, Lewis Carroll, George R. R. Martin, J. R. R. Tolkien, J.K. Rowling, Rick Riordan, Patrick Rothfuss, Brandon Sanderson, Quito, Mariana Satrapi, Jorge Saramago, Tumas, Gabriel García Márquez, Becker, Yoko Ogawa, Rosalía de Castro, Rubén Darío, Kids, Carlos Ruiz Zapón, Dostoyevsky, Haruki Murakami, Oscar Wilde, Isabel Allende, or the Grimm brothers that have created stories that have survived the passages of time. Sports shows how we strive to become a better version of ourselves. It's in those activities where we found the most inspirational stories about his travel and self-improvement. What better occasion to include in our time capsule than the Olympic and Paralympic Games, where the best athletes of every country compete against each other, and more importantly, against themselves, while new bonds between countries and cultures are being created. Gastronomy is a very particular case that shows what human nature is like. Every living animal needs food in order to survive, and since the past, this has been really important in the culture of a country. Rituals for the culling of grain in order to have good crops were celebrated in many ancient cultures. Nowadays, it has become a symbol of a country that brings people closer while areas of contact between cultures have a very rich variety of dishes with different flavors. In this video, my grandma is preparing a Spanish omelette, or tortilla de patata, which is a very typical Spanish dish made from eggs, potatoes and onion. However, what it strikes me is how we transform an activity whose purpose was only for surviving in a celebration and a true culinary experience. Architecture is an expression of civilization. It gathers our human history and human thoughts, and therefore is a very powerful reflection of our culture. It responds to a functional need, but at the same time it has a creative side that reflects how we interact with our environment. There are many studies in buildings all over the world, such as Dome of Rock in Jerusalem, the Leaning Tower of Pisa in Italy, the Big Ben in London, or the White House and Empire State Buildings in the United States, St. Basil's Cathedral in Moscow, Sydney Opera House in Australia, Taj Mahal in India, the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world, built in Dubai, Falling Waters, signed by Joy Wright. In my home country, Spain, we also have many important buildings. Here I am with Gaudi, one of the most famous Spanish architects in Spain. He is famous for designing buildings such as the Sagrada Familia Cathedral in Barcelona, or this building, La Casa Botines in León. We also have buildings like La Alhambra in Granada or the Most Cathedral in Córdoba, which, which have a mixture of the Arabic and Spanish culture. Finally, we have the Aqueduct of Sepkovia, which was built by the Romans. And that brings me to the last part. 
Even though many of the buildings we have now are from more modern dates, we can't forget the works of art from the prehistory. Like the Stone Age, built by our Neolithic ancestors, or the ancient temples in Malta, built between 3600 to 2800 BC, or the Dolmen of Menga in Antequera, Spain. We can't forget the, Rome, the Colosseum in Rome, the Parthenon in Greece, or the pyramids in Egypt. Today's concerns are also shown in architecture. One of the main problems we and future generations will face is pollution and climate change. So more and more sustainable homes and buildings are being designed and built. Like the Bank of America in New York, that wastewater and rainwater can be reused. Also, it can be heated by the sun and the windows are designed to provide as much sunlight as possible. Art allows us to communicate complex emotional concepts in a straightforward and meaningful way, without obstacles. It is so diverse that there is not a single definition to it, and in my opinion, that's what makes it so special. It reflects the current reality, or the feelings of the artist, and sometimes, art is so strong it can change the world. Art has existed since the history, and it appears in every corner of the world. There are religious paintings, other ones whose function was to be the testimony of an important event, or paintings that changed the conception of art forever. Art, it is not a steel, and it is constantly evolving. Art is also present in sculpture, and there are many important artists such as Da Vinci, Velázquez, Del Bosco, Goya, Caravaggio, Rembrandt, Monet, Matisse, Picasso, Warhol, Frida Kahlo, there are more modern mediums like cinema that, thanks to technology, has developed a lot, bringing movies with many different purposes. Fashion can be also seen as an art, and it has been influential throughout history, since clothes serves as a canvas to show our personality. Music is demonstrated to have many benefits. It is therapeutical and helps to train our brain. Music, as well as the other parts of our culture, goes back to our first ancestors, when a very rudimentary music was being made. New instruments and ways to play with the sounds were created. Nowadays, crystal have many traditional instruments, as well as traditional dances, like the flamenco in Spain or muñeiras. Music appears in orchestras, with great composers like Mozart, Beethoven, Bach, Vivaldi, Schubert, Chopin, Verdi, Wagner, Tchaikovsky, Strauss, Debussy, etc. But also there are new music genres, such as heavy metal, rock, pop music or electronic, and artists or groups like The Beatles, Queen, Pink Floyd, Bob Dylan, Ava, Michael Jackson, Nirvana, Metallica, Iron Maiden, etc. Music is part of our everyday lives and appears even in advertisements and shops. And we can't forget operas and musicals. I am not throwing away my shot! Finally, one of the most important things in culture is language, because it allowed us to communicate. Thank you so much. Muchas gracias. Merci. Danke. Grazie. Obrigado. Aligato. Si, si,